fellow Pokemon trainers, it's Alex. Um, I got drafted as the elf for this Christmas. Um, might as well dress up for the occasion. It is indeed Christmas Eve. It is five after nine. Um, and I will be doing this old school with the laptop. Mostly because, you know, um, gotta do it that way. I'm actually checking the NORAD Santa guide. Apparently, Ponta Delgada Ma wow, I am ripping this apart. San Miguel, the Azrez. That's what that says. I have no idea where that is. Let's track Santa and see where Santa is. That's where Santa is. If I can get that to the to, to, to clear, there 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 we go. The we're kinda of good. We're kind of There we go. Um that is where Santa is currently. Um first off, that is really lame. I'm red! Awesome! I'm red now. Damn it! Uh, that's a little better. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. See? I know my, uh, technology. I swear. Um, but anyway, this is going to be a raw upload, so I have no idea how long this will be. Um, hopefully it won't be too horribly long. Um, hopefully I will not be clicking a lot. Uh, hopefully I'll just be able to tap the surface, and I don't know if it's actually going to come up a lot on the, uh, recording, so I apologize for any clicking and clacking. Um, but let's go ahead and begin. This is the night before Christmas, the Pokemon edition. This is the official Pokemon edition of Twas the Night Before Christmas. Now, I reviewed this last year uh, on its own because I just thought it was just, just, just horrendous. Um, one thing you have to remember is that throughout this retelling of Twas the Night Before Christmas, Ash and Misty and Brock and Jesse and James and Meowth are kind of having a mini event while this is all happening, you know. Ash comes in from the cold, Misty's like, I downloaded this poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas! I downloaded it from the internet! Yay! Plug in the internet, you know. And he's like, I know this, and he starts reciting it, and Ash kind of was like, oh, that's cool. Brock's like, eggnog, and they're like, eggnog and Christmas cookies, and Brock kind of starts reciting it, and so does Misty. He's like, huh, and uh, where'd you download this one from, you know? like to know that. And they kind of do this little story thing where they just keep progressively tell the story. In the meantime, Team Rocket just eventually crashes in and just kind of ruins it for a second or two. And uh, eventually they just join in. At the very end, we get our, our unison retelling at the very end. Um, but that's it. There's really nothing else to talk about in that. And it's just really stupid. I don't understand why they didn't just act it out as they were in the poem, that would have made more sense. This is a completely outside con content coming into Twas the Night Before Christmas. They're not acting in the play. They're acting outside of it. So it feels kind of awkward to hear something like that. Um, it would. I just personally think they should have acted out the actual poem, which would have been nice. Um, but in any way, um, also, this is bad. I've heard better. <laughs> I've heard much better Pokemon versions of this song. It's not even really a song, it's just a retelling. It's the only track where they don't sing. So I kind of find this, um, as the official version, horrible, and you will see why. And why I ripped tail over this thing. Um, so I apologize ahead of time for the length. Um, random commentary will begin with that actual telling of Twas the Night Before Christmas, the Pokemon edition from Pokemon Christmas Bash, copyright of 2001. Um... And let's go ahead and begin, and I apologize now for the crap that you're about to go through. And how long am I into recording already? I am four minutes in, we haven't even started yet, so let's get going. Uh, Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even Meowth. Uh, first off, Meowth, what are you doing there? <laughs> go back with Jesse and James. Go back there now! The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. Well, visions of via plumes. Don't know why they would be visioning via plumes. That's just awkward, considering via plumes are used for perfume purposes, and they're imagining that. Dance in their heads. And my mom in her kerchief. And Mr. Mime in my cap. When did, why, why did Mr. Mime steal Ash's cap? Can you just picture Mr. Mime with Ash's hat right now? Can you envision that? 
And I think Professor Oak was there too. They slipped that in there. I don't know why they did that. They slipped, and I think Professor Oak was there too. I love this one commenter saying something along the lines of nothing good can come out of Professor Oak being at Ash's house. <laughs> Spending the night on Christmas Eve. Why is he at Ash's house? Why? Why is Professor Oak there? And well, where is he sleeping? Is he sleeping on the couch? Because from the looks of things, it looks like they're sleeping together. I didn't say that. When out, uh, had just settled their brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the rooftop there arose such a clatter, cue the clatter noise and the skit, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away in the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and saw a rapidash. First off, it's assumingly at least past midnight when this occurs. Why is a rapidash, um, Okay. For those who know of most spinoffs or any kind of parody or even some kind of true-to-poem stories you ever read or watched or whatever to the Twas the Night Before Christmas, they all take place in the city. Um, what's Rapidash doing out in the middle of town square? <laughs> uh, seriously, what is Rapidash doing in the middle of 3 a.m.? You, 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 you tear open the shutters and there's a freaking Rapidash. God knows where. And you're just like, mm, ow. Eyes. Burns. The moon... <laughs> I, I have a lot of people who hate reading this line because of a term here. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow. I don't know what's up with that line. That's an original line. Kind of confused. Gave luster of midday to jinxes below. Like I said, it's three in the morning. Now, I know jinxes are known to be nocturnal. But I don't know what they're doing down there. Okay? If anything like the Christmas episode of Pokemon, like episode 65 or something like that, this could only mean bad news. <sighs> when what to my half-open eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh? Okay, first of all, before I continue, somebody mentioned that half-open eyes is a creepy sentiment or a creepy notation. I don't know how it's creepy, per se, but to that commenter, they thought it was really creepy. To what when what to my half open eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Now I threw a fit last time I read this off because of the continuity issues that we had throughout the whole album. The assumption was that Stantler pulled sleighs. Must be Santa had reindeer, you know, in the song. Or no, it had Stantler. Yeah, it had Stantler. Stantler was pulling sleighs on both songs. Um, Must Be Santa and um, Winter is the Coolest Time of Year. But we got to mention that they're reindeer this time. We can't mention the fact that they're Stantler. But we got... You, this is where I begin to hate this, this little poem. Because you've ruined the demographic. You've ruined the continuity. There's no longer continuity involved in this whole freaking poem. It's ruined. It's gone. It's gone. But we must press on. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than Moltres. His course as they came, he whistled and shouted and called them my name. Now by this point, Team Rocker would come crashing down in. They'd have a little... Burp, burp, burp. But, um... First off, I never really considered Moltres to be rapid. Not that I'm aware of. I could be wrong there. But I never pictured rap uh, Moltres to be rapid. I would think you would put more rapid than Rapidash. That's what I would think. But no, we can't have that. Now dashing our dancing, our prancing, our vixen, now coming on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the hurricane fly. I dare you to memorize this poem without messing that line up. When they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up on the house off of the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and some Pokemon, too. You know, because of the rubber puppies, why not Pokemon that has totally special elemental powers that can totally, like, burn a house down? <laughs> and then a twinkling, I heard on the rooftop the prancing and pawing of each little matchup. I had a fit with this one, too. I hated this line. Why? Why are there matchups, A, on the roof? Why are we mentioning them? What are they 
doing on the roof in the first place? You know, I think I already mentioned that. What are they doing on the rooftop? Why are they there? Why are we hearing prancing and pawing? I know that kind of all relates to each other, but seriously. Really? As I drew in my head, was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a pound. I find that funny. It's almost like a double meaning. I, I didn't mention this, but pound, there's a pound attack. Came with a pound. Get it? Total. Totally funny. No, it's not. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. A lot like me, actually. Meowth mentions this when he reads this line. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. A lot like me, actually. Dumbass. And his clothes were all tarnished like ashes with soot. And Ash is like, huh? <laughs> really? That's actually kind of cute. I will give them that one. That was pretty funny. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. And he looked like a trainer just opening his pack. Corny, but okay, I'll give you it. I'll, I'll give it to you. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. Woo! Really? Necessary? His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His drawn little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. I'm starting to get a beat going now. <laughs> the stump of a pipe he held height in his cheek. He smoked it and s circled his head like a wreath. So a lot of this is pretty mainstream from the poem, and then it gets kind of weird. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right eyed old elf, a right jolly, wow, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me the note I got nothing to dread. Yeah, it's literally the same poem over and over again. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled with the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and the way they all flew, like uh, the down of a tissel. Now, this is where we come to the full climax. Jesse gets the last line. This is the line that makes it horrible to me. And actually, I just now realized how horrible this is. We've just been given the notifi notification, the fact, that he sprang to his sleigh into his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew. Okay, they all flew away. Like on the down of a tissel. Jesse, don't say this line ever again. Don't, don't do it. But I heard him exclaim... As he drove off to the mall. I hate that fucking line. As he drove off to the mall. The fuck? Well, as Jax Films would say, the water poop. <laughs> we just notified ourselves that he was going to be... I'm, I'm repeating myself from the last time I'm doing this, but I... No. Everyone says, Happy Pokemon Christmas. Why is it Happy Pokemon Christmas? Why isn't it just Merry Pokemon Christmas? Catch them all. Catch them all. There's a lot of problems with this poem. Uh, I made a lot of nitpicks when I first read it the first time a year ago. And the two lines that pissed me off the most is the reindeer. Because shh, people know those are Stantlers. I don't care who you are. Sorry, hiccups. But I heard him this exclaim as he drove off to the mall. It is not necessary. It's not necessary as a Pokemon poem. As he, as he flew out of sight. You know, I think that's how the line actually goes. As he flew out of sight. I can't, I can't even remember the original line. But, oh my god, this was horrendous. That line kills it. I don't mean that in a good way, either. It's horrendous. It's just... Brain says no. You know, brain says no. Um, this poem is horrible. <laughs> I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. Um, I rushed through it, and that's why I apologize as well. But, uh... Yeah, I think this is absolutely horrible. Um... It was good up until those two points, too. I mean, it was good. The unfortunate thing is that they only really changed, like, about a dozen things, you know. Or not, like, not even that, like a half a dozen. You know, we changed Mouse to Meowth. We changed Sugar Plums to Via Plums. We changed, we got Machop Moltres, Rapidash Jinxes. 
and then it pretty much just sticks to its own, and then it's like opening a trainer's pack, and then drove off to the mall. Why would he? Why? Why? Oh my god. No, this is horrible. Um, the rating system. If I had a choice uh, to rate this thing, it's horrendous. It was okay. Might even give it a five. It wasn't so bad. I, I probably would give this thing like a. Four, three <laughs> out of ten. Four probably sounds okay. Four Pokeballs out of ten. Ugh! It's horrible. It's absolutely horrendous. I'm sorry. Um, it's horrendous. Absolutely, um, horrendous. So, I'm 16 minutes into this thing. I need to stop. And I need to, uh, do other things. Um, probably write the script for the final episode of this little escapade. So for that, uh, thank you for standing by me and, uh, listening to me hash out this thing. And for the listening, if I went too fast, I can do a re-upload if you guys don't like it. If you guys really want to, I'll just, you know, you guys can kiss my butt. I want, for some reason, I keep wanting to retell this one. I'm not exactly even sure why. Because... I, I I feel like I want to make this so ripped up and professional as possible. Maybe every year, traditionally, I'll just retell the story. I don't know, maybe I'll just retell the story every year and just make a more professional video every year. And it'll just get better and better, hopefully. And I don't know, 17 minutes into this thing, I need to stop talking. But anyway, this is uh, Alex reporting off. Thank you for listening to this little rant. Um, thank you for the guy who decided to, who became the decision maker for the episode, um, because he, that he or she, don't know if you're a he or she yet, decided that that was totally the way we were going to read this off, was a total vent rant. So, I thank you for your decision. It was promptly given. And I will see you all later. Happy Pokemon Christmas. I can't believe I just said happy Pokemon Christmas. Oh my god, I want to shoot myself now. Merry Christmas. Uh, may you all have a good Christmas Eve, and may you all have a good Christmas. You will see the next episode tomorrow sometime. Might be tomorrow night. Not sure. Can't guarantee anything. Um, we're going to have a big snow tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but Wednesday, so hopefully it won't get too bad. Uh, I will be taking a break from videos for a while once I get the next one uploaded, so I will talk to you all later. Again, once again, this is Alex, reporting off really wishing I had somebody who would play Magic the Gathering with me. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Thank you, and, uh... God damn it, drove to the mall?